Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean and condition um, leather seats. Leather is cow skin and just like human skin it has pores. When those pores get filled with dirt and uh, oils they get clogged up and that makes your seat not flexible like you want it to be. And when the leather isn't flexible it starts to uh, crease and then it starts to tear and rip right open. and. Um, that's what you don't want to do, so I'm going to show you guys how to prevent that by cleaning and conditioning your seats. Here's an example of a rip in the seat. I'm, uh, I've got a little scrap of leather underneath this, but that's a big rip that happens, and these are what happens when you don't clean and condition your seat. Underneath here was a big rip all the way across, but I repaired that, as you can see in my How to Repair Leather Seats video. But today we're going to be cleaning and conditioning this. Some of you may have seen my other video on cleaning and conditioning leather seats. Uh, this is a revised version with methods that work a lot better. Um, I'm using Lexol Leather Cleaner and Lexol Leather Conditioner because they're um, I've been personally referred by some people to use this as a really good product and it's Amazon reviews like 90% of them are 5 stars and the remaining percentage is 4 stars. There's like no like ratings less than four stars. It's a really good product. Um, you don't want the cleaner and conditioner that is together in one thing because that doesn't work. Um, just like you wouldn't, you know, get a Germex that was a Germex hand cleaner and um, lotion at the same time. It just wouldn't work because the cleaner dries out and is a chemical and the leather is a conditioner with adds oils. So there's, they have to be separate. So two separate bottles. They're about like $10 each, but it's worth it because reupholstering a leather seat is like four hundred dollars so I'm really just following the uh, instructions on the back of the bottles here but I'm just going to show you guys that so with the Lexol leather cleaner and conditioner basically you get two separate sponges one of them is going to be for applying the cleaner one for the conditioner and you give it a couple sprays on the sponge and then you're going to scrub it down on the seat and then once you scrub down the seat you're going to wipe away the dirt and stuff that comes out of the pores with this rag. You want to do that pretty quickly so that the dirt doesn't settle back into the pores. Once you have cleaned your leather seat it should feel about twice as supple and clean as it did before. It should feel twice as soft. Um, you should be able to actually see dirt on the rag. I don't know if you y'all can see that but like that section is what I was cleaning and I've cleaned this seat twice already and like so that's clean and that's what I pulled out of the seat that's all the dirt that was in the pores next you're going to switch to your Lexol leather conditioner and using a separate sponge you're going to do the same process a couple sprays on there and then just wipe it onto the seat and uh, you're supposed to let it soak in for 30 minutes or an hour or whatever but um, just, I, I just say put it on a little thick and let it sit overnight. Leather is skin so it will absorb what you put onto it. So I just put it on kind of thick, just a like liberal amount, and then just let it sit overnight and it absorbs it all up. Basically, um, the whole motto for taking care of your leather seats is if you love your seats, they'll love you back. Um, I mean, these are tw this is 20 year old leather, so this is something I really don't neglect is uh, conditioning these leather. You want to do it at least once a month. If you can't do, get to that, at least twice a year. Um, I'm trying to do every weekend, but that'll probably end up being once a month. Um, but yeah, this is how you keep your seats looking nice. This one's not so nice, but this is how you keep your seats looking nice and uh, clean-ish. That's not Those aren't lines, those are reflections, but... Yeah, you want to do this to the front, back, you know, all your trim, the back seats, whatever. And uh, that'll keep your seats in good condition for a nice long time. After you have uh, put the conditioner on the seat, which I do highly recommend because the cleaner will dry it out. That's just sort of how it works. So you buy it in a pair, the cleaner and conditioner, and it works really well. Um, it'll be pretty shiny just because it's got, you know, a layer of fluid on top of it. But uh, leather is not supposed to be shiny. It's actually supposed to be very dull. Like you can see there, it's sort of like a flat tan color. There are some reflections on it from stuff, but it's very dull. It's not like, you know, 
shiny like that. Shiny means it's got some kind of waxy, oily coating on it, which is what you don't want. Um, so yeah, le leather should be dull. It should be dull looking, but that's how it comes and that's how it's supposed to look. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like after the conditioner is in and that, that amount will uh, dry overnight and soak into the seat. And it, it already feels a lot, uh, a lot softer, which is what you're going after. Soft means it flexes, not rips. It literally took me five minutes to do this seat as cleaning and conditioning. So you can take you know, 10 minutes a month or 10 minutes every six months to clean your two front seats uh, as cleaning and conditioning. Once you're done with the, putting the conditioner on, just let it sit overnight and that's it. That's uh, how you keep your leather looking nice and feeling soft.